So today is the 12th, it's 8.06 a.m. So I've got my coffee with me. Um, I've got my coffee. Well, actually, it's chamomile tea because uh, Pete's University Cafe. Oops. I don't know if you hit the push the. I thought it was push to unlock, but it's push to open. Let's push the, uh, let's open it again. Okay, so push to lock means ring means push to open. Anyways, so I got um, chamomile tea this morning because they ran out of chai. Probably thanks to me. I used, what, 24, 26 equals. Um, but I didn't want to drink it quite yet because the styrofoam cup, I thought it was a 20 ounce. But upon a couple days ago, I'm testing it out. I had a bottle of 16.9 ounce bottle of water and I poured it into the styrofoam coffee cup. I think it was, I don't think it was that one. I think it was the styrofoam one. They have two there, the styrofoam and the uh, paper one that you see here. And it filled up to the very top. So I was able to conclude that that cup holds 16.9 ounces. This one seems like it's a little bit shorter, I think. Let's see, does it have, there's a little bit of a space beneath it. Like the Starbucks cups, they have, it's like, if you look under the cup, there's more space. So, anyways, I'm just gonna assume that if you had a six, a 12 ounce can of Coke, right? It'll be like this. So that might be like 16 ounces. Anyways, I'm also gonna weigh without the stuff, and then I'm gonna step on the scale with it. This is 0.88 ounces, 100 calories. It's really good. A midday snack or a mid morning snack for you guys that eat five times a day. Do the breakfast, mid morning snack, lunch, mid uh, afternoon snack, and then dinner. Um, yeah, for you guys. Um, and this is 190 calorie, 1.49 ounce. Or right, so together, these are let's see, about 1.3 ounce. I mean, 2.3 ounces rounding. And then that's going to be 16 ounces. We just said that was 16 ounces. So that's like um, 18, 19 ounces. Somewhere between 18 and 19 ounces. About rounding. <laughs> um, which mathematicians do more than you probably know. Or maybe some, some of you know that, that are focused on math. Anyways, um... So yeah, the 16 ounces equals a pound. Again, I covered this yesterday, but 128 ounces would equal a gallon. Um, but we're not talking about gallons right now, we're talking about pounds. So yeah, I pulled that out of my bag for that reason. And now let's step on the scale again. I'm, actually, I'll do a third video again, and I've done this a, at least a couple times probably on my channel. In which I've weighed in on my weigh-ins, a couple of them somewhere on, I have 14 YouTube channels, but on some of the channels or one of the channels, um, or a couple of the channels, I did step on with, um, with my, uh, um, with, excuse me without the stuff and then like with the phone without the phone with the phone 
without clothes on. One time I did it, uh, at least one time I did it with my clothes as well. Without my clothes, with my clothes, and then with whatever I was going to eat that morning or that day. Might have been both, depending on if I was um, fasting. My phone just hit 5%, so I'm going to have to, so, time to get to the charger. I think the light just dimmed, but I think it processes it when I've uploaded that it'll still give me light, regardless of the fact that my light just dimmed. Okay, so, that said, um, yeah, let's do this. First, I'm going to do it without the camera, without the food. I'm not going to do the one um, with the clothes today. Even though you don't know that. So this is giving yesterday's weight again. And let's do it with the phone. Now, when I did with my phone, it gave two set different weights. And sometimes the skills can be subjective. One time I was 0.4 and then one time I was 0.8. So it could add, it could be 149.5 or it could be 150. Let's see. Oh, so 149. So it must be I'm in the low 149s because if with the phone it's still 149, then, sorry about my hair. It's been covered and flattened um but now let's do it with the uh let's add these items so let's start with these because we said 0.23 ounces so that should definitely with the phone it might actually bring it up to 150 because or both almost 49 Error. I'm trying to get mid skill. Oh, see, now it's 149.5. And now, and that's, this is two bars for 190 calories. This is two bars for 100 calories. So that's what I like about those clips. You can take a few extra minutes eating them. Actually, I'm going to do it with the coffee. I mean, the chamomile tea. That's definitely going to add a pound, right? And we'll add a pound, 0.5. Okay. And then I guess the, the, the cup, the holder, and the top. And now let's do it with this. And remember, keep in mind that even though this is only... That's zero calories because I use, well, it may be 2.4 calories, 2.4 calorie tea, and I use zero calorie sweeteners. Um, each sweetener, I said 24 of them, but each sweetener is 0.4 ounces. So, oh, I guess I shouldn't wait. Oh, yeah, definitely should have that right. 0.4 times 10 would be point. I mean, 0 0.04 times 10 would be 0.4, so it would be 0 0.8 for 20, so 0 0.8 uh, ounces for, tw for 20. So near, nearly an ounce of, of um, zero calorie sweetener. So, oh, is that 151.5 with this on my hand? One fifty point five with this in my hand, and I'm gonna end the video because I'm low percent. But keep in mind, thirty five. It's kind of it's an advanced formula because, for example, that's already a pound over a pound, and but it's less than thirty five hundred calories. Yet thirty five hundred calories equals a pound, and that's why I say two thousand calories a day. But most of the time, I'm guessing most um, in most situations, that 2,000 calories um, 
It, it, I want to give you some details from my research. I don't have sources because it's been like a year or two or more. But most of the time, this is just for my guesstimate, most of the time that equals more than a pound, as you can see, and even though it's less than 3,500 calories, yet your body, our bodies process, it releases those calories, it uses that energy, it burns it up so that those pounds, even though it's more than those calories, burns within that 24 hour to 36 hours. Then, uh, and then beyond that, what you're, you're processing as, as weight is the 2,000 calories per day. Or however uh, many you actually ate versus how many how much you ate in weight. Unless you're trying to get on a scale or something and you have to weigh in for a, back, a boxing um, match or, or you're on the Weight Watchers program or for whatever re other reason people um, weigh in regularly. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to end this video to... Uh, um, to uh, sustain it, to maintain it.